Hey, Internet friend, this is Magic Brad on Synergy Cafe here with the Synergy Collaborative and magicbrad.com. And I'm going to try and pronounce her name again. Her name is Stefania Magdudson. Very good. Yay, yeah. see, I did. I did. My last name is Goodham. I don't even use it. That's why I use Magic Brad. It's a little easier to pronounce. That's the way it is. So I don't do these very long. They're, you know, because time is a commodity. We don't have a lot of it, 24 hours in a day for each of us. So I, I do these kind of quick, just find out who you are and what you got to offer and all that kind of stuff. So the first thing is, who is Stefania? Is she married? She got kids? Is she single? Is, who, do you like going surfing? What do you do? <laughs> Fifty. I, it's the beginning of a of another um, very beautiful arc in my life. I was born in Romania, the central part of Romania, called Transylvania. When I was fifteen, we, my family and I, moved to the United States. We came here legally during uh, the communist era, which really meant leaving everything behind, wow. start from zero. I am married. We have two. Children. We are almost empty nesters. Our younger one is going off to college this fall. We have a pet. You cannot see him, but he's here at my feet, Kylie. She's about 14. Back in Romania, I was for two years, I trained as a competitive gymnast at the school where Nadia Comonet trained. So wow. I have uh, gymnastics and ballet and a little bit of ballroom dancing as part of my background. I'm still very active. I think that the body is the temple of our soul and I take uh, good and loving care of it. I speak several languages. I run a nonprofit Blue Heron Foundation for the past 16 years. College scholarships for Romanian and Moldovan orphan youth. We put them through college. We pair them with mentors. We have about 100 students in our program every year. We just want to help them heal and become independent, self-sufficient adults. I also wrote a book. It initially came out in Romania about seven years ago. It's a, dial a book of dialogues between me and author, poet, novelist Carmen Firan. It, it sold out in two editions and just the November of last year, it was also published in the United States, and it's a book that deals with myriad of topics. What's the title? The title is Searching for the White Magician, Spiritual <laughs> Psychology and the Manifestation of Destiny. Uh, when I was 23, I was accepted in a program of applied spiritual psychology at the University of Santa Monica here in Los Angeles. So for about 27 years of my life, I've cultivated a deep spiritual practice, which is really part of my everyday life, part of what I bring to our family, to the foundation that I run. Many of the skills and notions and life experiences um, that have this thread are shared with our readers in the book. And um, yes, so spiritual psychology and spirituality and a connection with the divine has been a big I think it's always been in my life I felt even growing up but somehow it became more official when I when I graduated with this degree do you, do you have a copy of the book you can hold up or yes oh good that was we can judge the book by its cover so you can yes, see what it looks it's available like on Amazon okay searching for the white magician you know, I'm a magician. That's where the magic Brad word comes from originally. Oh. <laughs> so, well, when I saw that. And it didn't even occur to me until uh, somebody pointed, pointed it out after I published the book. But part of my name, uh, it has that almost all the letters of yeah. magic in it. I'm just, I'm missing one, but it has that same yeah. sort of feel. Yeah, my wife does some numerology and she converts that into the alphanumeric kind of thing. So have her do your, num your numbers. <laughs> Very cool. So do you have any projects that are coming up? Any, uh, maybe you're speaking somewhere or something like that happening? Well, I, I host two salons for the foundation every year. I've been doing this for 16 years now. 
one in Los Angeles every fall and one in New York every spring. It's just a two hour meeting where for one hour we socialize and have some hors d'oeuvres and then for the other hour I present and do Q&A. This is for Blue Hair and Foundation supporters. They get to hear what we've accomplished that year and they are invited to continue to contribute, to invite other friends who are enticed by our cause to become participants. How, how did you come up with the name Blue Heron for it? Yeah, well, so that was about 2002, and it was a time in our lives, our kids were still very young, three and five years of age, and like every mother, I just adored them, and I was so deeply immersed in their lives, and I was so grateful that they were healthy and they had everything they needed. But then one day it sort of occurred to me in a very organic way that not all kids have that. And my prayer of thanks and gratitude sort of turned into the question, how about those who don't have that? And so I went back to Romania and visited some orphanages. But the blue heron in Native American symbolism is the symbol of contemplation, of going deep within ourselves and then manifesting on the physical level um, our spiritual purpose here in this lifetime. So okay. that, that's how I came up with the name. It, it came from Native American spirituality. Very cool. Time, it also became clear that it's a metaphor for the kids we take under our wing and then we teach them how to fly. Very cool. It's always interesting to find out how people came up with the names of their company when it doesn't seem like it's, you know, it's not like the Institute for Orphanage or anything like that. Very interesting. Very cool. So before I sign this off and I ask my favorite question, which is the big why question, can you share with us how to get a hold of you, like a domain name or something, so in case people are interested when they see this, they can find you. And then I'll put that them links on the, the blog and stuff too. Is www.blueheronfoundation.org. That's our website. And when you go there, in order to get a hold of me or anybody on the team, you will see info at blueheronfoundation.org. Got it. And we have a Facebook page for the foundation, and we have a Facebook page for the book, Searching for the White Magician, and an Instagram, Searching for the White Magician. So these are three ways in which people can get a hold of me. Perfect. I will put those links in there, like I said, because that, that's kind of how the internet works. It's all just a bunch of words and links, you know? Yes. <laughs> I need to learn so much more about it. So here's my favorite question. That's the big why question. You kind of answered it with, um, you know, with your children and the yep. less fortunate, but why did you decide on this as opposed to continuing a gymnastic career or maybe getting into ballet or you mentioned... Uh, ballroom dancing, why did you change yeah. those? Or I suppose you still do those things, but why did you become a more of a professional in that matter as opposed to doing what you're doing now? Yeah, well, I, my undergraduate degree at University of Utah was in public health. So I think I was already um, going a little, slightly in a different direction. I've always been a person who listens to my insight and what animates me. And so I went with where my heart me. Got it. Yeah. That's good. Thinking with your heart instead of your head. <laughs> yes. I'm trying to dismantle the, you know, my mind. That's what I've been at. I've had that challenge. I'm a Gemini, so I end up toggling back and forth, and I, I, my brain is always going. I can't shut it off sometimes. It's hard for me to meditate. i got to focus somewhere else. <laughs> so. Anyways, I appreciate you taking the time. I'm going to pull this together and beam it up to the universe. And then when you see it online, if you could share it also, that's the whole Synergy Cafe concept. And we will collaborate and get it out to the world. So, Stefania, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Be well. Let me just go like that. Stefania.